<laughs> so this is what we're giving away. That was the 476. We're actually giving away the 576, just a little beefier product. This is a new product line for HP, and it's fairly revolutionary. It's the first time we've really brought ink into business. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit towards the end of the event, but suffice it to say, if you stick around, we're going to get your name badges and we're going to do drawing for the printer at the end of the day. I just wanted to give you a quick video to familiarize yourself with this. How many folks come to our shows that we do every six months in Appleton? All right? Okay, about half. So, yeah, Apple, I use the Appleton universally, Nina. Um, I'm going to go through some updates. Some of it will be um, what we covered in December, but a lot of it's going to be new. I'm going to try and focus on things that are coming over the next few months that you need to be aware of. My name's Lisa Messner. I've been with HP 17 years. I think you've heard that uh, I've been working with Camera Corner those, uh, all those 17 years. I reside in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and I am a partner manager. So you may not have met me in your offices before, as we do have end user reps as well, but I work behind the scenes with Camera Corner, and they were nice enough to invite me to come to this event today. If you have any questions, keep it interactive. I'm really a flexible person. Um, so just uh, let me know if you have anything that I'm stumping you on or I've missed or that you'd like to hear about. One of the things I want to mention today that is new as of Friday is we have always offered elite support on our products like the 8,000 line of notebooks, desktops, all of our workstations. And basically what elite support does is it gets you to level two support whenever you have a break fix issue and you call HP directly. Obviously if you're working through Camera Corner on any of your break fix issues this is probably not as relevant but if you do call into HP you go to level 2 support it's all domestic. As of last Friday if you buy a care pack on any of our PSG products like client products, desktops, notebooks, you will always receive domestic support moving forward. So that's a recent change. I just wanted to mention that people like talking to people that are in Arkansas for the most part, Rio Ranchos where we have another uh, location. So most of our support moving forward on all of our client products will be domestic, just so you know. So I'm going to start with desktops. I'm going to talk a little bit about laptops. I'm going to wrap it up with tablets. If you have any other questions, I'm going to be here for the duration, so don't, don't hesitate to come up and talk to me. But we really wanted to highlight those products that work in conjunction with Office 365. So trifecta of changes that are happening right now. There is new processors from Intel, fourth generation i-series. There will be new processors from AMD. We're doing a product change in look and feel. I'll talk about that. And we're also doing a name change. So really three big things that you need to know about that I'll cover today and hopefully make you very comfortable with. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the new look and feel. What you'll notice is that as we make these changes, we're also doing a branding change. We are trying to get very similar in how our products look, no matter if it's a notebook, a desktop, a workstation, they all will kind of look, ooh, sorry, they will all kind of look the same. So similar coloring, similar features. And that's something new. We kind of got away from that in the last few months, or last few years, and what that's done is you never really knew it was an HP notebook when you looked at it. You will be able to from now on. Bless you. So some of the differences in products, I get a lot of times, what's the difference between a 600 and 800 or a mid-range and a high-end product? For the most part, this will highlight what those differences are between our mid-range and our high-end product. A lot of times it's form factor and a lot of times it's vPro. If you're not using vPro, typically you don't need to go with the 800, the 600 will suffice. If you're thinking about buying vPro, especially hospitals I know are, are preparing themselves, kind of future-proofing themselves for vPro, then I highly encourage you to look at the high end. The other thing, again, is onshore support as well as form factors, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. So, roadmaps. Um, I just wanted to let you know you're going to see something in orange on the right. It's called the Mini, 
and what that is. It's a new introduction of a product that's coming in April that I'll talk to you a little bit more. The 800 and the 600 in the green are announced. They're shipping, and the good news about our desktops is you're going to see a 30-month life cycle on the desktops. So Intel will not have any announcements in 2014, yay! So we have started 2014 off with a bang, and you should see stability throughout this whole year into mid-year 2015. So we're looking at 30-month life cycles on the desktops. And this is just more of that, of that road mapping. You can see all the different announcements that have happened. OK, so on the high-end desktops, you have three form factors. You have a mini tower, a small form factor, and an ultra-slim desktop. The mini will be coming, and I'll talk about that again. But today you have three form factors. Then we also have an all-in-one. Some of the changes to this new introduction is that we are offering a hybrid drive in, in the desktops. So you can have a spinning drive, a SATA drive. You can have a hybrid drive. And you can have a solid state. It's really up to you. Between the spinning drive to the hybrid, you're going to pay about a $20 premium. And from a spinning drive to a solid state drive, you're probably looking at about a 60 to $80 premium still, depending on the size and what you're looking for. So just be aware that this hybrid drive is really kind of the best of both worlds. It's got a spinning drive for storage, and it's 500 gig or 1 terabyte. And then it also has hard, or solid state on there for basically your OS to run. So you're going to get the performance of a solid state, but the storage of a spinning drive. So hybrid drives are available on all these as well as the other drives. It's really up to you. It's your choice. But the hybrids are shipping at this point. DisplayPort 1.2 offered on all of our desktops. Has been for a little while. The problem is there were no monitors with DisplayPort 1.2. Good news, they're starting to ship in January. So you will start to see monitors that you can deploy with DisplayPort 1.2 moving forward. And they are starting to ship this month. Other things I wanted to talk about, you're going to hear about near-field com communications. Near-field in our desktops, and our notebooks, you're going to hear about it coming out in our, in our printers as well. That's a very common thing. So you'll see NFC basically tip to, or tap to print, tap to share moving forward. You can also use these products as hotspots. So I know we've met with some of the public sector accounts, some schools that maybe have libraries or other locations that don't have a lot of wireless built into them. Each one of these devices can be used a hot spot, as a hotspot for up to five products. So let me know if you have questions about that. I have a document on how to set them up for that. And again, in blue at the bottom, you see that about 30-month life cycle. In the 600 space on our desktops, we have two form factors. So small form factor, mini tower, pretty much all the features and functionality are the same. Again, the three things that you don't get with this unit, B-Pro, uh, the Elite Services, and the um, oh, the form factor. You don't get the ultra slim desktop in this one. Mini. So this is brand new. It'll start to ship in April. You'll see a slide on that. It is announced. So if you need information on it, if you need specs on it, if you need any of the data sheets on it, just let me know. We'll give you my contact information at the end of the event. If you want demos on desktops, on notebooks, on workstations, on thin clients, work with your camera corner rep. We'll get you the demos sent out so you guys can try these out in your environment. That's not a problem whatsoever. In the notebook space, we have everything from a 200, 400, 600, 800, and 1,000 series. Now I'm going to talk about each one of these real quickly so you get a feel for it. The naming changes that happened with these product announcements are very specific, and I want to make sure you're comfortable with them. So if someone starts to rattle off numbers to you, you understand what they kind of mean. They're very, it's exactly desktops and the notebooks, except for the second digit, and I'll tell you what that is. The first digit always signifies the series. So if it's an 800, you know that's an elite product. If it's a 600, that's a pro. If it's a 400, that's a pro. Second digit in desktops is always going to be zero. In notebooks, the second digit will always indicate what size screen you're going to get. So if you want a 12-inch, it's a 2. If you want a 14-inch, it's a 4, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there is a there's a mystery here. Um, zero at the end always indicates Intel. Five always indicates AMD. So if you're getting a 655, you're getting a 600 series notebook with a 15-inch screen that's an AMD processor. OK? Makes sense? 
This is A40. I have examples of all these. G1 we're trying, so those of you that buy our servers, you're very familiar with G1, G2. We're going to try this, but because they may not update every year, we're not sure how that's going to pan out. We'll see if that, if that makes it to next year. So 1040 is shipping now, actually. There's someone in this room, I think, getting one of these in a couple of days. Um, but the 1040 is our true high-end Ultrabook. It is um, very thin, very light. There are some trade-offs with that. This is sub three pounds. The trade-offs are that this will not have an Ethernet port and it does not have an optical drive. It is dockable with our side dock. Um, you will have to dongle if you want an Ethernet port on this. The other takeaway with this is because it is so thin, it is not an end user replaceable battery. So it has to be shipped in for battery change. We see this being a play at the executive level. Folks that really travel a lot need a sub three pound notebook. Otherwise, um, my guess is that you'll look for something a little different. This is our lineup, again, our roadmap. All of these new notebooks were introduced in October, October November timeframe, and they are shipping. In the high end, this is our 800 series. We have a 15 inch, a 14 inch, and a 12 inch. And I'm going to start handing these around in a second. So look and feel. In the 800 series, you do not have an optical drive, but you really don't give up anything else. You still have your VGA connection. You still have your Ethernet connection. You really don't give up anything um, with this unit except for the optical drive. And yeah, here's the A20. I'll hand this around. Um, I want to show you one thing. There's a side dock. So on all of our 800 series, you're going to use the side dock. That came out with our 9470. So basically, moving forward, we have two docks that we have as standards for our notebooks, either the side dock or the, the main dock that I'll show you in a minute. Side dock has lots of all the ports you might need, um, multiple uh, display ports, multiple VGA. This is what I want to show you. As this comes around, take a look at the Ethernet. This is a patented solution from HP. It is basically like a jaw. So it opens up and extended, extends to accommodate the plug. That was the only way we could get that to fit. Yep. You can get backlit keyboard on everything. Some things it's an add-on and some things it's automatic. Yeah. Like, Yep, yep, yep. It's about a $12 upgrade to go to a backlit keyboard. So if you, if that's some, I know a lot of people really like it. You'll see it um, standard on a lot of the product, but if it's not, just double check with your camera corner person. We can build you one with the backlit keyboard. Yeah, most people like that. Yeah, it's better than the little light we used to have that you used to poke out accidentally. So this mechanism actually locks down on the Ethernet cord. You can swing your notebook around by the cord. Don't. Uh, I would ask you not to swing it around, but if you had users that did, it is a patented solution It will lock down. That is the way, in an Ultrabook design, we can accommodate an Ethernet port. Most of our competition does not have this. Again, that's a patented solution from HP. So in the 800 product line, you are not giving up really any of your ports. You still have your VGA. The only thing that, you again, you don't have is an optical drive here. Um, the other thing with the announcements is you lost about a third of the weight and a third of the height of all of our notebooks. So this is, the, originally it was 31, now it's 21 millimeters high. So yay, it's nice and light and you can put it in your purse. The other thing that you'll see with HP that we do intentionally on all of our product is we put on um, one basic plate. You'll see that across all of our products. So on the back, you have one sheet to remove in order to do any upgrades. So you don't have any magic trick doors or anything like that to open up to put your memory in or to upgrade your system. It's just one sheet and you remove it. As this comes around, what you want to look for is when you do move these underneath the, um, the panel, there is a lock. So if you're in a K-12 environment and you don't want the kids getting in here, you can lock this down as well. Or if you have um, users that get in there, you can lock this down. I'll hand this around a second. Okay, so convertible tablets we have also. I have that. If you have users that want a tablet, but they really want a keyboard, 
they want all the bells and whistles. Once you've priced that all out, you may as well just get a notebook with a full functioning processor in it, and that's what this is. This is the 810. Second generation is shipping now. has a second generation pen. So um, very popular schools, very popular with hospitals, very popular with anyone, insurance adjusters, people that have to go out in the field. They need a production use product, but they want the tablet functionality when they're in the field. Lots of cases for this. Um, to accommodate people that are walking around with it in the field and, and need different uh, different solutions different times. So I'll hand this around too. Um, that's pro well it depends um, but I, I'm just going to give you ballparks because it always depends. I would say about a thousand dollars. But yeah, yeah. You bet. Solid state, SATA drives, yeah. Yep. We do demos a lot with Camera Corner. They bring a lot of gear into their environment so you guys can try them out. Um, we can do that anytime for you, but they actually will buy a lot of the gear and keep it in their in-house just so they have it more readily available. So if you're ever interested in that, um, work with your Camera Corner rep. Again, the product between the first gen and the second gen didn't change a whole bunch. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, just a couple of updates, obviously a little bit faster. You can get it with Windows 8.1. All of our products you can get with Windows 8.1, including the Elite Pad 900 now, if you need that. Um, but most people are running Windows 7 on this, too. Okay, so the workhorse, the 600 series. What this is, this comes in AMD and Intel. The previous announced uh, products in the 800 series did not, but this one will. This is our workhorse. Again, this will not have vPro, um, but other than that, this is probably uh, one of our more popular products is the 640, which is a 14 inch, and the 650 and 655, which would be AMD. So you give up nothing in this product. You have optical drives. Uh, actually, I don't have one of those with me. I apologize. You have optical drives. You have the full capability with the dockings. Again, i4 series technology or AMD. AMD will have a processor update later this year. And that is the full dock. So if you've got these full docks in your environment, it still uses that. If you had the full docks for your 800s in the past, it still works with that. This product is also mil spec tested. So that was always our claim to fame in the high end product in the 800 was that it was really business rugged. It was mil spec tested. It passed the drop test, the spill test, et cetera, et cetera. Now the 600 with this new introduction is as well. So you're not really giving up a whole bunch at looking at the 600. What you gain is the optical drive. Unfortunately, you gain some weight too because it still has that built in. So it is going to be a little thicker and a little heavier. But again, you have the, the back side that slides off just like the other one. Did lose about a third of its height and about a third of its weight. Still a little heavier, but if you have those users that demand that they have a CD-ROM drive, and they're out there, um, this is the product for you. The other thing I'll mention, in the 15-inch 800 series, we did not have enough real estate to include a 10-key keypad. Um, if there's any accounting firms or people that buy for their AR groups, um, I know a lot of people use the 850, 8570 before because they liked having the 10-key keypad just because of the real estate. We didn't have enough space to put it on the 15-inch 800 series that's going around. However, in the 600, we still do have the 10-key keypad on the 15-inch and we have the serial port still. So if anyone needs to run their Cisco off their notebook, you can do that off the 15 inch, either the 655 or the 650. Okay, 400 series. This is maybe a little less on the bells and whistles, but a very attractive price tends to, um, I may have, I may have, I may have that coming up, so hang in there with me. 
Okay. We have a new product coming out. It'll start to ship in March. It's called the X2. If any of you have seen any of the commercials on TV where the people are detaching the tablet from their keyboard and they're on the plane, we had a lot of those. That was a consumer-based product that we are moving into the commercial space. The first version of that is the 410X2. We'll start to ship in March. This is a very consumer look and feel notebook. In September, we will announce the 800 or the elite version of this, which will be much more rugged, much more commercially focused. If you have folks that say they want this product, it will start to ship in March in the um, 400 series, and then the 800 will start to ship in September. So be aware of that. A lot of people like this technology. All of our executives at HP use this. They want the tablet for meetings, and they want to leave the keyboard behind in their office. Perfect. That's a perfect solution. There's another picture of it. OK, so the rest of the 400 lineup that I had talked about. You have both AMD and Intel versions. Eight forty, the four fifty here, a product I'll talk about in a minute, the eight ten, those are all touch enabled. You have to buy the certain model. So if you're not sure which one you want to see or you want to try it out or you're not sure which one to buy, work with Camera Corner. But we have touch in all of those different models that we can offer too. So here's the different product line in the 400, lots of sizes you'll see. Something that's new is a 13-inch version. So if you are looking for a lightweight version of a notebook, but you don't want to give anything up, this might be a solution for you. This just started shipping, and I do have one over here, I believe. Yep, so I'll send this around. You can take a look at that. Again, you lost about about a third of your size and weight. All right, so any schools in here? OK. If you had users interested in netbooks, but they just weren't big enough, they didn't have enough power, you couldn't multitask, this is kind of a hybrid solution um, that you may want to take a look at. It is called the 215. It's an AMD model. And what it does is it gives you a little bit bigger screen, so 11-inch screen, it does give you a full processor, so you're not giving up anything. That's the, always the complaint that we hear about the old uh, processors on the netbook, is you couldn't multitask, so this is a full processor. If you're interested in taking a look at this, this just started to ship. And here's another picture of it. Uh, my feeling is that there isn't a lot of difference. I mean, they leapfrog each other here and there. But on, on the server space, for a long time, there was a pretty big difference. In the, in the desktops and notebooks for a while, there was a difference because you could do multi-monitors on the AMD and you couldn't on Intel. But over time, they've just kind of, it, it really is a religion thing. Some customers say, I'm only going to bring Intel into my environment. Some customers say, you know what, if I can save 10, 15%, I'm willing to look at something as an alternative. I would say we put, we, yeah, we put more AMD in public schools than probably almost anywhere else. That's different on the server side, but in the client side, that's probably true. I would tell you to try it out. So I've got one school district looking at the 655 now. He's like, I know I want to go with that 600 lineup desk or notebook. I know that's what I want, but I want to save about 15, 20%. So I'm going to look at the AMD and, and maybe have a mixed environment. If you have questions about it, let, we'll send you demos. You can try them out in your environment and see if, they, if you have any questions or have any problems. We're fine. Good. Yay. It's wonderful. <laughs> so tablets. Lots of stuff coming on the tablets. You guys know that we have an Elite Pad 900. This is our uh, Windows 8.1 now version of the tablet. This is carved out of one piece of aluminum. It's very durable, so it passes all the mil spec tests. Camera Corner has invested in the tool to do on-site repairs for this tablet. There is There are no screws. It's basically all um, um, magnetized in there. So they have the special tool that they need. So unlike um, some of my competition, this can be all serviced in the field 
here in Green Bay at the Camera Corner office. So very nice product. Again, very sturdy. Um, it is going to be updated. So here's what's going to happen. In March, we're going to announce um, an update to this product that basically will take it to a 64-bit solution. Today it's 32-bit only. So we'll have a 64-bit solution here. This product, how it differentiates itself from the competition is that we offer a variety of jackets and I'll talk about that in a second. But here's the timeline. As I mentioned in March, you'll see that 64-bit, 4 gig with Windows 8.1. We're also going to introduce something called the Omni 10, which I'm going to talk about right here. This is very similar to the Elite Pad 900 or 1000, except it does not have the jackets. So what's the difference? Cost. If you are in a situation where you need more of a $400 solution, this is probably for you. If you don't need a lot of jackets, you don't need a lot of the docks, you don't need a lot of the bells and whistles that go with a tablet, you just need the tablet itself, look at this one. This will be coming in March as well. It still has all the features and functionality, just don't have the um, jackets that we have for the other solution. So that will be coming at the same time as the Elite Pad 1000. That will also be 64-bit. Okay. Here's just a little bit more on the G2, I think. No, I didn't. So, um, oh, you know what? I'm going backwards. That's what I was going to say. I saw that slide. Okay, here we go. So, Slate 7. If you don't need Windows 8.1, is Gary in here? No? Okay. Um, we offer Android versions as well. So, 7 inch. We just announced last week the 7 inch Extreme on Android. If you have any questions, let me know. But we do offer um, tablets now with Android. We are going to offer an all in one um, desktop also that is on Android if you're interested. All right. Enough of that stuff. Go ahead. Yes. Correct. Nope. So with Windows, uh, here's a good rule of thumb. With the new Intel version 4 on this processor, it will not run Windows XP. Period. Oh, sure. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Correct, 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 correct. Yep, yep, you're absolutely right. Yeah, um, yeah they, the new um, Intel processors will not run XP, but Windows 7 is fine, and same with Vite. You can always downgrade. All right, so printers. Um, for those of you that didn't come to our road show in December, we announced an awful lot of new printers. Um, I'm not going to get into them too much. I'm going to talk a little bit about the technology changes that you're going to see with the new printers that are coming. I just wanted to mention printers are kind of one of those things where we have a lot of everything for everyone. If you're not sure what to put in your environment, Camera Corner is a, a managed print services partner with HP. We go in with them and we will actually map out your entire environment. We run a tool called FM Audit, we put it on your network and we take a snapshot of it and then we come in with Camera Corner and say, this is what you actually have and I'm going to tell you most customers don't know what they actually have and that's just because people sneak stuff in. Um, but we'll tell you what, the, I found a drill hole between two desks with a printer in between. Uh, a secretary's desk. It was very interesting. So you, we will do it, take a snapshot in your environment and we'll work with you to understand what, how you could set your environment, your print environment up a little bit more efficiently. Print is kind of one of the last areas that people have looked at as far as budgeting and efficiencies. We have a lot of solutions too. So many that I would rather actually do that as a consulting um, time with you individually. So we'll just talk about a few things here today. Again, I mentioned near-field communications. So what is happening with all these new introductions is they have near-field communications built into the printers moving forward. So you will literally be able to walk up and tap to print from now on. We are also introducing, and I don't know if I, no. We are introducing cards that allow you to add that near-field field communication technology into most of the printers since 2009. If you're interested in it, let me know. The cards are just starting to ship right now. Okay, so OfficeJet Pro X Series. This was the video that you watched. 
It is a new um, solution from HP. It is called Business Ink. All the ink products that you've seen from HP in the past were always really consumer focused. This is business focused. So I, you need to take all of your prejudices about ink and really kind of throw them away because this is a different era. I'm going to tell you right now that this is now 8% of what we sell. And we just announced them about three months ago. Starting price is $4.99 up to $7.99. These will be expanded this spring. We're going to put Flow Technology, which is web-based storage and capture, on these as well. Um, but you're printing at about half the price of laser and twice the speed. So up to 70 pages per minute. If I unbox this thing, which I'm not going to, I could run a demo and show you the 70 pages per minute. It just flies out of here. So how do we do that? In the video that you saw all those nozzles dropping ink, we've taken our large technology from our indigo presses. So when you get your Walmart ad or your Target ad in the Sunday paper, those are all printed on indigo presses in Wisconsin. And what happens is when the paper flies under the the, the printer, the ink is deposited on the presses and it, and it dries instantly. Okay, That's the technology that we've scaled down for these printers. It's called page wide array. So as the paper goes under the print heads, the print heads spray the paper, the paper with the ink. In your old technology, it was one or two or three print heads and they would go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. That doesn't happen anymore. There's literally thousands of of heads on these and you don't replace them. They're permanent. All of this ink is made in Milwaukee. Yay, it's all local technology. I can't tell you who it is. They'll kill me. Um, but the ink cartridges are large capacity too. So unlike the little ones over here on the side, they're all large capacity. I think it's 90, yeah, 9,200 pages um, black and 6,600 pages in the color. So again, if I, uh, camera corner actually, you guys have this on your floor. If anyone wants to demo it, the unit before you consider buying it. Let them know they have a couple of them on the floor, otherwise we're giving one away today too. The other nice thing about that before I wrap up is that it dries instantly. So we have customers that are in hostile environments on you know machinery floors, outside they have to print. If it's raining, we did a demo on this where we sprayed water on it. It will not run. So if you're in an environment that you have to have uh, ink that dries instantly. This is a nice solution too. And that's it.